Now this might not be the most fashionable of recyclable products. But it was in these that 37-year-old papermaker Mahima Mera hit upon a simple way to reduce her carbon footprint. As trigger-happy tourists lap up the sights along the jagged Aravali Hills, Mahima was paying more attention to what was unfolding down below in their wake. The paper maker I work with and I were walking up to the fort. There's a temple up there, we go once a year. And uh, we were looking down and not up, obviously, because we wanted to step, you know, we didn't want to end up stepping on the dung. And uh, we pretty much noticed that, you know, there's so much fiber in this that we can actually make paper out of it. We thought it was quite bizarre, actually, initially. But then we took it, we, we tried some experiments, and then there we were, making paper out of it. On average, an elephant will eat 200 to 250 kilograms of food a day. From that, we get about 50 kilograms of dung. And since elephants are poor digesters of their food, over 50% of what they eat comes straight out the other end. So what they pass out is rich in fiber. When we started, actually, we weren't advocating anything green as such. So it started off as actually working with a waste product and converting it into something which could be used by people. This happened in 2004. Amidst curious stares from both turban-clad tourists and locals alike, they collected as much dung as they could muster and began experimenting. They experimented with different processes. It was impossible to make paper out of pure dung. The paper would fall apart. Mahima then began mixing different materials with different proportions. She finally found a perfect marriage of 75% elephant dung and 25% cotton. A year and a half later, Mahima's hard work paid off and the first sheet of elephant poo paper rolled out. And no, it didn't stink. This is because the dung collected is thoroughly washed and dried before it makes its way to Vijendra's paper mill. There, the painstaking process continues, whereby the pulp is beaten for three hours. Cotton, which acts as a binding agent, is added, and the mixture is sieved through muslin to make paper. It's a labor-intensive process which drives up cost. That's why eco-paper costs a fraction more than regular ones. But that hasn't stopped sales though, as Mahima has sold more than 400,000 rupees worth of dung paper each year. Honestly, if we had sold this product 10 years ago, we might not have got such a good response. There is a younger generation now which has seen uh, large parts of the world, uh, which, you know, they, they, in corporate ling languages think out of the box a lot of times. And I think they appreciate things which are different and unusual. For now, this seems to be working. Today, each collection of dung from 117 elephants of amber bears 800 kilograms of fiber-rich fodder, enough to churn out 3,000 sheets of paper. A rough estimate shows that three to four adult trees would have to be chopped to yield the same amount. And her paper, aptly named Hathi Chap or Elephant Prince, bears the stamp of her green mission. And as it's being exported to Western states, it carries with it the message that sometimes it's about the simple ideas. And in this case, the idea that you can convert something unwanted into something useful. Paper made out of dung in India.